is a moving of the planet from its original orbit. That's what caused it. Okay, we're talking about huge motherships that just tag on, hook a little, little chain to the planet and just move it. <laughs> okay, they have this technology, but that's what it is. It's technology. Okay, apparently we can do these things with our own minds if we're disciplined enough and we're clearly focused on our intent. And um, with talking with Jay-Z, that is exactly what Ramtha apparently has been teaching you. Okay, to remember who we originally were before we fell into time and fell into physicality. So I will read this. In your linear time of third density measurement of 439,231 rotations ago, war on a grave scale occurred in your solar system. This aggression occurred against those on your worlds that included not only you Terrans, but also those of Nibiru. This invasion of your system by Orion was led by a queen named Suti. This war was destructive on many levels and frequencies of physicality. We will focus tonight on your Terran physical form. It matters little to those who hear you, Alex, who do not listen. Please share this regardless of any emotional return to you in challenge. When your science truly removes their bigotry, they will discover of the, wis the wisdom of it. The last grave conflict was very harmful to your physical form. Many weapons of destruction, many of atom splitting have been used, which means nuclear weapons. This is the reason for most of your Terran skin tones. We shall explain. Orion was and is most interested in the females of your race because of the procreation, reproductive, and genetic strengths. We want to share the fact that much of your Terran history has been misleading in its truth by those who eventually conquered in control of your solar system. Nibiru won, but only a short battle, before they and other outposts were forced to leave your solar system because of genetic damage. Your original races were green-skinned. Those, This we know because of large copper traces in your Terran 22 blood types. Also, the pituitary and thyroid were fully functional. The genetic damage to these organs was caused by radioactivity in air and all things of contact. The air was like this for a long time. It caused the genetic memory of these organs to be closed and almost atrophied. Your world experienced drastic changes in climate and massive magnetic fluctuations. Your different skin tones spaces are a result of an edema damage to your blood. It was then necessary for survival to create self-sufficient and contained environmental habitats, both above and below the earth. Now folks, this is what the Garden of Eden was. It was an artificially created environmental habitat. Okay, it's like you take, like what Richard Hoagland's been talking about. You know, you take a dome city, you build this dome, and then you terraform it underneath that. It's exactly what these were. Um, let's see, where was I? Much of the fossilization of your Terran remnants is caused by this radiation of your planet. Your system contained three suns at the time. Only two remain. I'll read that again. <laughs> Your system contained three suns at the time. Only two remain. Write it down, write it down, it's a question. Your physicality, <laughs> your physicality in its original form contained a great balance of zinc, copper, magnesium, and iron. Your true blood color was green, like your chlorophyll. Some we have discovered even had a gold tint in it. At such, your physicality could survive in a high carbon dioxide atmosphere. Because of this, because of your, because of the skin color, 
the only stars in your system that affected your physical form were in the color spectrum of orange red, blue, and green. Now think about that. Okay? If you picture in your mind everything's a holograph, okay, which is a free, which is a group of frequencies. Because of this skin color green, the only stars in your system that affected your physical form were in the color spectrum of orange, red, blue, and green. Many of your Terran races were stranded on the surface. The genetic changes were the result of radiation damage. Your race went from green to red to yellow to black to white. Let's run this again. <laughs> your skin, your race, skin color went from green to red. It's the Native Americans, the Egyptians, and the Mayans. To yellow, which are Eurasians. To black, which are Afro Afro uh, African and Afro Americans. To white. Your white races were then considered to be genetically the weakest. <laughs> Puts a whole new light on uh, prejudices, doesn't it? <laughs> I know the Nazis aren't happy about this. <laughs> it's just as well I don't like them anyway. <laughs> Um, as such, the survivors and descendants of the war were genetically altered and became white through edema. And they were persecuted and forced to live underground, only to surface 5,508 rotations ago to the surface of your world. Now there's, somebody had read this and they sent me an email and they, they had said, uh, that I don't know somewhere that there's a legend that the white race appeared out of the mountains of Tibet some time ago, and I don't know if that's true or not. But uh, I'll ask uh, the Living Encyclopedia now if he knows. <laughs> um, let's see. The Copper Bloodline is now a small race on your planet, but it is it is strongest genetically. Your native Red Nation race is very strong and easiest to discover and understand. And folks, this might understand, this might explain why there are so many abductions of the Native Americans on the reservations. And why even today they're still being persecuted. You know, because if you're a coward, you suppress the strongest. And of course, you know, many of us don't do much about it. You know, I don't want to get involved. You know, that's their problem, that's their issue. You know, we owe it to them. We owe it to ourselves. Um, let's see. The red is the closest to your original form among you. Your physicality had a natural defense to positive and negative frequencies due to the copper mineral in your blood. This lack of copper in your blood now has caused a partial loss of brain capacity and nervous system. Remember, your DNA contains cellular memory. It is possible to unlock this memory with the use of minerals such as copper. Your blood systems adapted to iron because of copper depletion due to radiation. We will share more with you, but we must return now. Be at one. They always end it with be at one. Okay. Keep going. Um, are there any questions? <laughs> I don't want to bore you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> you guys are so great. 
I take you all home, but I can't feed you. <laughs> uh. <laughs>